Hello and Randy, welcome back to Farming Simulator 25 on Hutan, Pan, Thai. Since last episode, I finished up all of the rice planting and I do believe I actually managed to finish all of it here. Uh, now, I did finish it here in the month of, let me check my month here again. It was the last planting month because I did run out of seed there for the first month, everyone. Uh, let's see what's here. Rice is, where's rice here? Rice. Okay, so April, May. So I planted my last field uh, like 11 o'clock. PM on May. Everyone, it took that long to get the last uh, pile of seeds I needed there to uh, finish up uh, that uh, last field. I planted field uh, 20, is it 27, that's right in front of us here. Yes, field 27, that was the last field I planted. So for those of you who remember here from last episode, everyone, we were working on planting rice here. All the uh, saplings we had were was by the greenhouse here. So we got two, uh, two more pallets back here again, by the way. Uh, so this was all the saplings we had, everyone. Uh, by waiting till, again, like I said, 11 p.m. on May there, I managed to have enough saplings to finish planting the last field over here. So, yes. Oh, did I, uh, looks like we got a little missing here. Did I, uh, do we need to water this here maybe? I should probably do. Probably need to water this here. Just uh, finished uh, sleeping through the night here, so. Or actually, I fast forward time through the night. No, no, actually, it's good. Okay, it doesn't need to be, uh, doesn't need to be watered. Actually, 27 might need to be yet here. 27 probably needs to be yet. Go and double check that here a minute. Yeah, that one's good. Okay. So, yeah, all these other fields, I mean, the other four fields uh, were planted in April, but then I couldn't plant field 27 until May. I had, I think, like two, no, one pallet? Maybe I had one pallet left, something like that. I'm like, well, we'll wait till May. Hopefully, we'll have enough pallets. I didn't want to, like, plant part of the field in April and then, like, finish planting it in May, right? That's like, oh, that just sounds messy. So. We got a mess here. Let's see. So this probably needs water yet. I think it needs one more month. I always uh, forget uh, like how many months it needs water before we can stop here. And you pretty much just follow what it says, right? I'm like, okay, it says it doesn't need to be watered. It doesn't need to be watered. Okay, flood it. Yes, this one needs to be uh, watered here yet. I'm not entirely sure what's up with the, uh, I don't know, what do you want to call them? Crop circles out in the middle of the field, Evan. Uh, these were actually in the field before I planted. Uh, so it's not that uh, something happened after planting. This actually happened before planting, and the planter would not plant these areas for some reason. I, I don't know why. I wanted to just go over them, and it didn't plant them. I'm like, that's strange. So I don't know what what is wrong with the ground there. I guess it looks like, according to this, it kind of technically registers as nothing. So no idea. Um, anyway, this episode, Evan, we are going to get started on our, let's see, what do we all got? Canola. Actually, let's go back to this one here. So, uh, canola, barley, oats. Yeah, I think that's it. Is that just uh, the one field of barley? I guess we got just the one field of barley. Okay, a couple fields of canola. Uh, the one thing I'm curious about, though, is anything that's actually like a decent time to sell because, yeah, July, it's about the worst for that. Uh, how about canola? Yeah, it's about the worst for that, too. How about oats? Where's the oats? Oats, there we go. About the worst time for that to sell, too. Uh, the reason I ask, Kevin, because, uh, as you can probably tell from the money situation up there, um, yeah, it's not the, not the greatest. I'm not the greatest. So it'd be nice to uh, sell some of our crops immediately. I know it's not the best time to sell them, but we could use some money. Uh, not to mention, too, we're probably going to want to repair our combine here at some point. I think it is, yeah, we are good on repair at the moment, everyone, but by the time we finish harvesting, or actually, I get probably, uh, about uh, two acres in, we'll probably want to repair the combine. I can just that tree right there. It's always, always getting there. We're going to start trying to debate here. Oh, what makes the most money? Oats, canola, barley. Hmm. Good question, that one. Good question. I don't recall between those three crops which one uh, pays better. As a reminder here again, at least in uh, Farming Simulator 22 oven, uh, soybeans was by far the worst. So, like, if you want to make money of it, don't plant soybeans. Now, I don't know about you folks, I still like planting soybeans because it's just, uh, at least where I live, everyone, corn and bean country. So I always planted a lot of soybeans, corn, you know, that type of thing, right? But uh, at least if you're looking to make the most money in the game, don't plant soybeans. Not a good money maker. I'll also just uh, turn right here because uh, we're going to start harvesting. We got to make this uh, field 
significantly uh, larger here now. Now, one of the things that uh, can help with uh, making uh, more money with barley, I mean, is baling the straw as well. But we don't have a baler. We don't have a rake. We don't have a way of picking up the bales. I don't know that I really want to invest in that stuff right at this point either. So, yeah, we'll probably just stick with what we got. No straw. I know, uh, at least from 22 of them, if you bale the straw that came with the wheat barley, that put wheat and barley near the top as far as uh, income earners are concerned. Thick-looking barley here, too. The draw distance can use a little bit of the mouth. Remember the draw distance being that harsh before. Is that just me? I wonder. Love how you can see it uh, change in there, too. Like, hey. Maybe something uh, Giants can work on here uh, in the future versions of farming. Something like uh, that draw distance. Maybe make that blend a little more, you know? Like most of the games you play nowadays, Evan, like draw distance really, it, it is a thing, Evan, but they usually try to blend it in such a way that you really can't like see the, the line between them, right? Farming simulator, yeah, that's what Funny too, it's probably rendered a lot further behind me than it is uh, in front of us here. Now, this will be our first time harvesting this uh, larger field here, by the way. A reminder again, I plowed this field almost twice uh, the size of what it was before. I don't have like the exact numbers on that, but I don't know if there's necessarily a way to see like. What is the exact size of this field? I don't know. This uh, GPS doesn't say it all, does it? No, it's not. We're going to watch uh, Pump Turn on, should I? Steering assist. Let's get some uh, steering assist going. Why not? Who loves us steering assist, right? I mean, look, is there anyone out there that doesn't like steering assist? If so, what's wrong with you? Yes, just go straight across that. Yeah, I should have too when I uh, plowed this. Oh, well. Oh, well, speaking of plowing them, we'll have to see once uh, maybe here uh, after we're done harvesting this time around, if there's any other fields that it makes sense to uh, make changes to. Get a uh, trailer down here fairly soon too, aren't we? Wow, we're almost uh, almost full here already. Which is uh, oats? Or is oats? Barley's selling here for at the moment. Actually, barley is uh, looks like it's probably around somewhere around 800. So 800 per a thousand liters. So we sell one uh, one truckload of this. This should get us out of the you know, red here at the moment. Again, we're minus actually only minus five thousand dollars. I'm not actually sure why we're not less than that. I thought it was going to be, but or not. Like, uh, when I slept through the night here last time, I mean, it jumped from, I think, what we were, like, minus 1,000 last time. Uh, it jumped, like, minus 4,000. Like, oh, crap. And then I uh, slept through the night here last time. I mean, it's like we only went from, like, 4,000 to 5,000. Well, okay, that's that's not bad. Actually, I think that was two times. We're now in July, so from, uh, yeah, May, June, July there. Well, it went from, like, 4,000 to 5,000, so... No idea. Uh, loan is costing us, I think, like $4,400 per month or something like that. And again, at least at this point, Evan, our greenhouses are not offset that anymore, especially the, the rice sapling one is currently it's running. At least I think it's running anyway. Uh, but we were actually outputting the saplings rather than selling the saplings. So. use the GPS at the moment. Was that just that far off when I harvested the first time around, or the GPS that far off? I 
another one of the actual uh, big advantages to a GPS in real life. I wouldn't, uh, obviously one, it does make it easier on the operator, right? But then also uh, you can uh, decrease your overlap amount as well. If you get the uh, you know, fairly precise with the GPS there, you don't have to sit here overlapping quite as much. Oh, let's see, I will just keep tapping here. There we go. So, you know, for example, maybe uh, instead of having to go up and down the field 50 times, now, thanks to GPS, maybe you only have to go up and down the field 45 times. And obviously there's a lot of advantages when it comes to that one. Uh, get the job done quicker. Uh, now there's the job getting done quicker. Using less fuel as a result. Just, uh, it's like all around win-win, right? It should pretty much fill this truck up here, if I remember correctly. So we'll probably have the truck just, uh, going to sell this here. And speaking of selling it here, barley, 782, 798 at the Harbor Grain Elevator. Okay, well, let's, uh, we'll tag that place. Yeah, just shy of $800 there, so... Bit of a bummer. We could be selling it for about $300 more. But again, I think we kind of need the money at the moment. So. If it wasn't for the uh, combine repairs, I, mean, I probably wouldn't worry about it. Just like, hey, we'll just uh, stay negative. There's nothing we really need money-wise at the moment. Though, probably would be nice to plant some uh, winter crops here, probably. We'll have to see once how that's going to work, I because mean, if we don't have no money, I <laughs> mean, oh, that's not the hard work I need. That's the hard work I need. We need to uh, deliver to the oil mill, please. Not sure what his loading location is. But we'll just uh, make that right here. Looping, uh, not not oil mill. We need Harbor Grain. Oh, wrong, other way around. Okay, Harbor. Harbor Grain Elevator. That's what we need. Perfect. Sure, be nice. Oh, not enough money. Oh, okay. Can't even do that one. Yeah, I forget about that. I did drive all our tractors back here between episodes, by the way. So our hard workers that were left stuck out in the road because we didn't have enough money to bring them home. Yeah, I, I did finally bring them home. So, I think have I been down this road? Yeah, actually, no, I think I have. I did take the back road around the farm here one time. Yeah, I don't think we want to just drive across the water. That would not be good. Wouldn't be good. Shortcut. Looks like shortcuts. Unloading. And like I said, if we did the math right here, this should get us out of debt or be real close anyway. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Not a lot of money, Evan, but hey, $816. We'll take it, right? We'll take it. So. Uh, you know what? I probably better just drive him back because I'm not sure what he'll do otherwise. Think he'll go back to where I set the target uh, location, but I'm not 100% sure. So just in case, it didn't take as long to get down here. We'll just drive back one. The next time around, we should have enough money here. He can drive down here and deliver for us, hopefully. So yeah, not a bad haul, man. Um, obviously, I'll probably will continue on selling the rest of the barley or maybe most of it. I want just uh, again, we need money. I want combine. Oh, what the world? Hello. Okay. Curious to see what's going to happen if I tried them. Is there actually no collision on that? I love them hired workers. Wow. Or not hired workers, not AI drivers, I guess, right? AI drivers. Look out.
Okay, leave that park there. Back to the combine. Continue harvesting. Couldn't even hire a worker. Well, now I guess I can. I was saying before, I couldn't even hire a worker in the combine if I wanted to. A couple of you know, little uh, downsides there, but when you don't have any money, can't hire workers, can't buy seed, fertilizer, all that good stuff. But again, fortunately, with the greenhouse that we had, didn't actually have to worry about it. So that was good, Evan. That was good. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we wouldn't have been able to plant the fields we have planted here. And just a reminder, as always, to Evan, if you haven't already, click that uh, subscribe button. Don't forget to do so. Always very much uh, appreciated. And, of course, if you like the video, well, you know what to do. Click the old uh, thumbs up icon there. Also very much appreciated. And if you'd like to uh, catch more RD Allen content, don't forget you can find myself over on Twitch, RD Allen on Twitch. Link is down below, along with the rest of my uh, social media links and all that uh, good fun stuff. Plus, if you don't already have Farming Simulator uh, 25, make sure you check out the uh, description down below there. Uh, there is a code that will save you a little bit of money. Plus, you can buy it off of... Uh, farming simulator website as well which does help support the channel so all very much appreciated but the GPS line just does not look like it would follow quite the right spot that's why I don't have it locked on I'm like uh, you think I'll just uh wait, just do a little driving myself here Decent little hill to climb there, that's for sure. Okay, we're ready to start going up and down the field here at this point. That's our first uh, straight line there. Or straight H line. Looks like we might have to continue this line all the way to the other side, too, if I'm not mistaken here. But I don't think we're going to do that, though. We're just going to back up here. There's a uh, little bit to continue over there. We'll get over there and do that once we're over there. Looks like this next line probably goes all the way across. Last one did not go all the way across. This one does. Okay. Oh, perfect. Well, it doesn't actually say I'm locked on the line at the moment, does it? Interesting. Oh, that's interesting because the angle is apparently different over on this. Okay. This doesn't go straight across. Yeah, we got a bit of a curve line going here. So I don't know if this is the next one find if this next one's right or not. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I mean, got how the line just uh, curves there and follows that. I will have to say, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to uh, Giants on that one. I mean, it seems like they've done a decent job here with the uh, steering assist or GPS, whatever you want to call it here in the game oven. You know, it doesn't do just straight lines. Obviously, we have headland support as well. So, like, uh, Giants seems to have uh, pulled out the stops on this one here. Now, some of the other uh, questionable choices they made. I mean, yeah, well, uh, not sure about that one so much. But, uh, yeah, buying a couple cows at a time. Uh, buy on $5,000 at a time. Yeah, it's like, come on, really? You know, the typical uh, multiple fill types in a vehicle. Trying to fill from something that has multiple fill types. It's just, yeah, 
one thing after another. I think we need here at the moment is probably the uh, side hill uh, combine here. I forget which which one is the side hill here again. Where's our combines? Uh, trucks. Yeah, where's the harvesters? Harvesters, yes. Ah, uh, it's the Massey Ferguson, I think, right? I think the Massey Ferguson is the side hill one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because that's the one we're running on the multiplayer server. That one running the side hill. Uh, combine, which, uh, that map, oh, I'm trying to think. There's not really, like, any big hills on that map from what I remember. Maybe there is some, I, mean, I don't think I've seen any big hills. That's the Riverbend Springs map, by the way, we're playing on a multiplayer server. And, yes, we're running the Massey Ferguson, the Beta 7360 AL4. Not sure what they mean by beta. I mean, I know what beta means, but <laughs> is that what it means in this particular case with this combine? But yeah, it's pretty impressive. I mean, you know, the whole combine just, uh, yeah, keeps itself uh, level, so to speak. Horizontally level. Okay, grab the truck here. And we'll just uh, go ahead and uh, sell this load as well. And I don't know if we'll sell all the barley. Oven. We'll probably just sell as much as what we need so we have some money here. Uh, once we have at least enough money to, like, hire workers and all that good stuff, and then I probably won't worry about it, but... Hopefully with all the fields we have here, we should be hopefully looking at a pretty good uh, payday this time around as well. I mean, we, uh... I don't know, did we double the size of the farm? I'm betting we probably close to double the size of the farm here, everyone. So we got uh, field one, field nine, field 39, 77. Was that it? Just the four? Oh, it seems like we got more fields than that, didn't we? Maybe not. Oh, 20, uh, 49 to 26. Yeah, we, we got more fields than just those. Yeah, we got all kinds of fields. Okay, Harbor Grain, yep, still good on that one yet. Actually, I'm mean, just double check here. Harbor Grain, Barley, 798, yep. Upper oh, is blocked by not. Shadow. No, no, when I said GPS is pretty good. I didn't say uh, hired workers were great. I went hired workers, uh, yeah, not sure about those. They're a little special sometimes. Um, anyway, going back to the side hill combat, it would be uh, maybe like a perfect uh, fit for some of our fields here at the moment, but I don't think we'll probably end up upgrading or wouldn't really probably be an upgrade to go to that combat. But more of like a sideways upgrade kind of sort of maybe that combine really isn't I don't think much bigger than this uh, particular combine here so yeah I mean definitely a little bit more expensive though 104,000 versus 265,000 dollars oh where's our combinations here I mean, what's the what's the head size for this this is 7.6 meters so yeah it's probably a little bit bigger because this one's probably like what five meters or something Six meters. Okay. Like one meter bigger. I went like, okay, meter and a half, I guess. Meter and a half bigger. Not really that much. Ooh, now we're talking. All the Fent Ideals. A nice John Deere X9 1100. We got the S7 series. Yeah, we got some nice looking combines, everyone. Some good looking combines, if you ask me. Uh, for those of you wondering, by the way, what's the uh, benefit of, say, maybe that uh, side hill combine? Everyone? Uh, well, combines typically work best if they are level. So when you're on hills and stuff like this, uh, the material inside the combine, uh, gravity kind of tends to have an effect, right? I know that, that, that gravity thing, right, everyone? 
But yeah, it kind of tends to have an effect uh, inside the combine there with gravity, where obviously the material inside the combine is going to kind of tend to flow to the lowest uh, point of the combine. And if you're on a hill there, uh, let's say you're just on a sideways hill, you know, the combine's tilting, uh, tilting to the left or something like that. Well, your material is going to tend to flow towards the left, and uh, that side of the combine is going to probably get a little overloaded. Rather than trying to keep your material kind of flowing down the center, you know, spread out hopefully as evenly as reasonably possible across you know, the combine, right? Uh, same thing can also happen uh, front and back as well. You know, if you're going up a steep hill or going down a steep hill, again, gravity has an effect on that one, so keep that uh, combine level improves the efficiencies of the combine. Now most farmers, uh, at least in my experience, haven't, don't worry about that unless uh, they have some really extreme hills on their fields. So I don't think, uh, at least around where I live, Evan, I don't think I know of anyone that even has like a side hill type of combine that I know of. There's probably one around somewhere, right? But I, I personally do not know anyone that, that I know of that has one. I don't know, do they even still make new side hill? They probably still make new side hill combines yet, right? Actually, I could probably answer that because I think the Massey Ferguson is a little bit uh, newer, isn't it? This looks like a newer model uh, combine, so. Oh, yes, you can definitely tell. Got the government juice on it. Bummer, we don't have uh, John Deere's new uh, tractors in the game, Evan. No, uh, no government juice on those. That's uh, not suspicious at all, right, everyone? Rather interesting, if you ask me, that uh, once you go past, is it 700 horsepower? Seven, seven something, 730 maybe, was it? Yeah, once you go past a certain horsepower, then apparently you don't have to have DEF, uh, diesel exhaust fluid, government juice, or the, uh, or the vehicle anymore. It's like, really? I guess the, uh, the farmers didn't bribe the government enough versus the, uh, the mining industry. The mining industry paid the government enough so that they uh, would make an exemption there once you got past you know, the 700-ish horsepower mark there. So the uh, mining vehicles didn't have to have it, right? Yeah, I don't know about you folks. I'm sure there is, uh, there's probably some sort of BS uh, story uh, behind why you know, there's no need for Def uh, past you know, 700, and I forget the exact number. I think it was 730 or something horsepower, something like that. It was just even 700. I don't remember exactly, but okay, is that truck back yet? He's about back, cause yeah, we're about full here. Evan. We're about full, so by the time he gets back. We get about full, by the way. We're almost at $7,000, Evan. Not too shabby. Money is going the right way, which, uh, I don't know, you folks, that, that's always good. Speaking of harvesters here, Evan, uh, if it wasn't for the fact we didn't have any money, Evan, there was a good deal on a harvester here. Oh, sales. Gotta go this one. Duh. Yeah, it's not there anymore. But uh, the rice harvester, oh, stop rolling down the hill. Put on brakes. Yeah, there was a really good deal on another rice harvester there that was on sale, 60% off of one. If I would have had the $30,000 for it, I probably would have bought it. But uh, fortunately, we didn't have $30,000 of one. So yeah, otherwise, uh, two rice harvesters harvest twice as fast. That seemed like a really good idea to me, but uh, last, no money, so. No mula, no harvester. Okay, once this is full, we'll just uh, rinse, lather, and repeat. And I probably won't bother selling another load after that. And we'll probably maybe just put the rest in storage then, because again, try to hang on to this as long as possible, because make more money that way, right, everyone? That being said, we're we're not doing too bad on this field here so far. We're up to probably somewhere around twelve thousand dollars we made so far. I think about $6,000 a load. Take the 
truck's waiting for us to get out of the way here. Don't ask me why I think he needs to turn right there in front of us, or behind us, but... Oh, well. Anyway, speaking of uh, turning up, I think it's time to turn off this episode here. So that uh, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching, and until next time.